McAllister Army Ammunition Plant, or MACAP, began in 1943 as the Naval Ammunition Depot created after the start of World War II. In 1977, the Department of Defense turned over the management of all conventional ammunition to the Army, and the former Naval Ammunition Depot became McAllister Army Ammunition Plant. Located seven miles south of the town of McAllister, Oklahoma, MACAP is a city unto itself. Covering 45,000 acres or 70 square miles, the plant is two times the size of Manhattan, employs more than 1,400 people, has more than 400 miles of improved roads, 221 miles of railroad tracks, and more than 2,200 earth-covered magazines. We are self-sustainable in that we repair our own equipment, maintain our own roads, repair our own railroad tracks, produce our own drinking water, have our own security force, fire, and emergency services departments, and can make just about anything we need to get the job done. MACAP has four core missions. Ammunition production, ammunition and missile maintenance, ammunition and missile demilitarization, and power projection. One of the things that I think that uh, McAllister Army Ammunition Plant does is that you put the teeth in the tiger for the warfighter. Without your great efforts, everything we do would be meaningless. And so it starts here. MACAP is the Department of Defense's premier bomb and warhead production facility. We produce bombs ranging from 500 pounds up to the 30,000 pound massive ordnance penetrator. We have the capability to renovate a variety of munitions, such as the 105 mm howitzer ammunition, and can safely demill numerous types of munitions, including the 750 pound bomb and the 2,000 pound bomb. We have melted out more than 60 million pounds of TNT from obsolete explosives from munitions refining the TNT to the point that a large portion goes into new munitions, saving both the environment from having to burn the explosives and the taxpayer money from having to buy new TNT. We also have a 52-pit open burn, open detonation range and are permitted by law to blow 500 pounds net explosive weight per pit. McAllister Army Ammunition Plant works closely with PEO Ammo to help achieve our shared goal of delivering the right mix of precision guided munitions, conventional munitions, and smart weapons to our joint warfighters. McAllister is also key to stockpile sustainment and disposal. They are a vital partner to PEO Ammo and they are known throughout the munition community as an organization that has world-class people focus on exceeding customer expectations. I graduated high school on the 17th day of May and five days later I was in the Army. I've been around all this ordinance all my life, you know, close enough to see the bombs go off. When I come here, I got the job I wanted. I'm a production worker, making bombs, demilling bombs. You know, production's where the rubber meets the road. That's, that's what we do here. That's where it's real. One day south of Baghdad early morning, uh, we had Marines that were under attack. They were in close contact with the enemy. It was a troops in contact situation, and uh, they called in with two GBU-12s, which would be two 500-pounders, that saved, directly saved American lives. I mean, these guys, uh, the shooting stops instantly once that bomb uh, does its work. It takes everybody in the loop, but ultimately, that bomb strapped out there on the airplane. When I walk out there in the combat scenario, and I'm gonna do it again this fall, and people are doing it right now every day, uh, when they walk out to the airplane, those bombs are on there, um, they're counting on those. American lives are counting on those uh, weapons to, to work and function correctly should they be called upon. 
We take pride in, in putting bombs where they need to go. And when they go there, we need them to work and they need to be effective. And the folks today, the dedication of effort, I just cannot believe how dedicated and professional and the uh, ability to quality control the weapons at the end stage to ensure that we're getting that uh, end product is just phenomenal. The steps that that goes through to get that bomb that uh, is guaranteed to work. MACAP is also the Department of Defense's largest storage facility of ammunition for the Joint Services and is a strategic partner in power projection. When called upon to do so, the ammunition plant can ship up to 450 military vans of munitions and munitions-related items per day using rail, truck, sea, or air. We're proud of our 100% on-time delivery to our warfighters. This power projection is possible because of our ability to produce our lumber, called dunnage, to block and brace the munitions loaded inside the military van. Our lumber producing facility can manufacture up to 1,000 wooden pallets every 24 hours. To meet European requirements, our wood is heat treated to 220 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes to ensure that the invasive pine nematode is destroyed. Our expertise goes beyond producing bombs and missiles and storing them. We are actively involved in all aspects of life cycle support to produce, maintain, store, surveil, ship, and manage a large variety of precision munitions. These items fill a critical piece of our warfighter's arsenal and include the Patriot, Hawk, Chaparral, Stinger, and Maverick missiles. MACAP partners with Department of Defense contractors Boeing, General Dynamics, Textron Systems, and Raytheon to produce the Harpoon Missile, Slam Warhead, Small Diameter Bomb, Joint Standoff Weapon, Excalibur Projectile, Sensor Fused Weapon, and the Combined Effects Munition System. Raytheon began teaming with the McAllister Army Ammunition Plant in 1994, and the Excalibur program is an ex uh, excellent example. The four major sub-assemblies of the Excalibur delivered directly to McAllister for final assembly. McAllister's efforts were instrumental in getting it to the warfighter ahead of schedule. That is a precision-guided munition launched from 155 it's 24-7, there's no other munition, precision guided munition like that. It's proven its effectiveness on the battlefield. And I think the proven effectiveness is a direct result of the time and effort that the employees, both here at McAllister and at, at Raytheon, their efforts, the countless number of hours that they put in. Textron Defense Systems had a need for a load and pack facility. McAllister was chosen to, to be the um, site of choice between Textron and the, uh, and the Army as well as the Air Force. We're treating this facility as, as a team and to this date we've been extremely successful. During the initial uh, setup of the operation, McAllister assisted us extensively. They, if they didn't have the expertise, they went out and hired the expertise for us. We were also able to accelerate all submunition and munition build with less fixturing and uh, less manpower. So we're, we're quite pleased at the way the operation has worked. MACAP's dedication to safety and the environment is evidenced by our conformance with ISO 14001 Environmental Management System and our participation in OSHA's Voluntary Protection Program. VPP program is designed to uh, help the people uh, work safe and also to get our workman's comp uh, cases down. The union really supports it and we're behind it 100%. It's been working real good. We're working together as partners. Our commitment to continuous improvement is exemplified through our ISO 9000-2008 certification and our use of Lean Six Sigma projects where we've saved several million dollars by cutting waste and improving efficiency. When we talk Lean Six Sigma and value engineering and beneficial suggestion and all these things that are part of another program, they all complement each other because ISO does promote whatever you can do to improve 
That's what you need to do, and those others are tools to do it. These are good tools. Our quality control is second to none. Using state-of-the-art digital equipment, we x-ray our munitions to ensure that when the warfighter uses our products, that it works first time, every time. If we look at the explosive load, we're looking for voids in the, the munition and the explosive load, and uh, we're kind of the, the last step in the quality control process. Uh, if it passes us, everything's good, everything's gonna work right. We have a sense of pride and we have a reputation to uphold, so I want to make sure that what I do is done right because it needs to work when they need it. My son is in the, in the Air Force. He's been in two years and a month ago he deployed to Iraq. I'm supporting, yeah, and I do feel that now. Everybody here has, it takes pride in their work and, and wants to do a good job and, and support, support our soldiers. It, it's, uh, it's an important job and, and it makes a difference and it matters. McAllister Army Ammunition Plant, a strategic partner with the Joint Warfighter, providing them what they need, right item, right place, right time, and right quantity.